Cabinet's appointed subcommittee seeks medium-term home for Grenada High Court. Details to this story and more in the National Report. Welcome back with the National Report for today, Friday, June 29, 2018. I am Wendy Edmund. Labor and Foreign Affairs Minister Honorable Peter David is heading a cabinet-appointed subcommittee which is responsible for immediately finding a suitable location to provide a medium-term home for the High Court of Grenada. That's according to the Ministry of Legal Affairs. Following destruction of the court complex by Hurricane Ivan in 2004, the High Court operated from several separate buildings until finding a temporary home at the Lime Building on the Carnage. But after a recent influx of complaints about the air quality of the building and reported illnesses affecting jurists, staff and court users, the ministry says government took the responsible position of putting the health and well-being of court's users as being paramount and the cabinet decided to immediately vacate the building. To deal with the backlog of cases, discussions are presently being held with the chief magistrate so that magistrates' courts could also be utilized in the afternoons to expedite hearings during this period until the closing of the current law term, which is due very shortly. Additionally, with the assistance of the Ministry of Infrastructure Development, Public Utilities, Energy, Transport and Implementation, Court No. 1 of the former High Court building is being expeditiously restored so that court sittings could be had there. It is anticipated that that accommodation will be available from as early as next week. In the long term, the government of Grenada is committed to finding a permanent home for the court and associated offices through Grenada's own Halls of Justice project as part of the wider OECS court initiative. Funding will be pursued for Grenada's own Halls of Justice. The nation celebrated the achievement of fishermen and women on Friday, focusing on the risks and challenges they face when they go out to sea. During a ceremony at the Melville Street Fish Market, Senator Simon Steele, Minister for Climate Resilience, the Environment, Forestry, Fisheries, Disaster Management and Information, said government has the safety and well-being of fishermen at heart and appointed to projects from which fisher folk can benefit. These include an FAO-guided project called Climate Change Adaptation in the Eastern Caribbean Fisheries Sector, the first in the region which targets the fisheries sector. It focuses on improved boat building methods. Senator Steele also spoke of a pilot program for climate resilience, which is designed to build climate resilience in the fisheries sectors of Grenada, Jamaica, St. Vincent and the Grenadines and others. The approaches that are being taken under this project will greatly assist in the preparation of proposals to access both the UN Climate Adaptation Fund and the Green Climate Funds. These are two international agencies that have significant financial resources that Grenada and other small island developing states can draw upon to develop important sectors in protecting and adapting to climate change. He was speaking following a church service at the St. George's Cathedral, followed by a procession to the fish market. Acting Chief Fisheries Officer Crofton Isaac appealed for a lifting of the bar with regard to the service provided to customers. I should also tell you that some of our visitors are people who come in to examine how we Grenadians sell fish to the Grenadian public. Good. And these are the people that are going to determine what kind of a support or measures they're going to impose upon us when we try to export fish to their country. Activities were also held in the fishing town of Guav. This is the National Report. More news after the break. <music> This year's Spice Mass climaxes on August 13th and 14th. It is an event you just cannot afford to miss. I am Tamaya Monroe, 
Miss Grenada 2017 inviting you to the festivities, the Shantani and all the different traditional masks, the fancy masks, the Monday night masks, and as Specky said, the best part of carnival, the juve. Spice Mask 2018 is one that's going to be fun, epic, unforgettable. Miss Grenada 2017 to Maya Monroe inviting you to the Carnival Queen Show on August 9, 2018 to witness the seven beautiful ladies contesting for the title Miss Grenada 2018. It is an event that you cannot afford to miss. Miss Grenada said so. This one is for my mate You play your part and you still play your part I love you for me Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell says the time has come for Grenada to urgently commercialize all tourist sites throughout the island. He was speaking with a staff in the Ministry of Tourism and the Civil Aviation on Friday. In 2017, government and the Grenada Tourism Authority met with private sector stakeholders to discuss government's intention to commercialize tourist attraction sites. It is the intention of government to issue licenses to private entities interested in running the sites. According to Prime Minister Mitchell, Grenada can generate a lot more revenue from the sites if the ministry spearhead projects that will ensure that we exploit and maximize their true potential. Over the years, we have not shown as government we have been able to manage those sites effectively in promoting um, the country as a whole. So it seems to me we should be able to commercialize those operations as much as possible. Um, in fact, the more we involve our people in the success of what we're trying to do, I believe is more opportunities we have for that success. Um, we have so many great potential areas that we can use to promote this country. When people come here to visit our country, we got so much to show, but I don't think we've shown them the real potential this country has. He says several jobs will be created when the sites are commercialized. We're not gaining anything anyhow from what we're doing. We're just not using the place properly and, and, and empower those persons to make sure the place is made to look the potential that it has. That, that, that is my own view. Uh, in other words, and I mean, we can talk all the sites we have. Uh, no, we're looking at, we're looking at no, the fort there. We don't believe that it's the best place for police headquarters. This is tourism. You know, you know how many people would love to come to Grenada and go up to the fort and see the bullet parts where former prime minister and lost his life. People would pay a lot of money to go there. Tourism Minister Dr. Clarice Modest Cohen gave the assurance that by the end of the year, two sites will be commercialized. We have made a lot of effort with the commercialization and I expect by before the end of the year we should have at least two and maybe long before that and two, two, two critical ones um, but we're working to have some more. And that's a wrap on the National Report for today, Friday, June 29th, 2018. From all of us in the newsroom, I am Wendy Edmond thanking you for viewing.